Okay, year eight, um, day four. Multiplicative change part two. And now we're moving on to question four. Uh, James is traveling to South Korea. The conversion from pounds to South Korean one is one pound equals 1,501. He buys a train ticket for um, 30,001. How much does James pay in pounds? Uh, when I do this, I personally look at pounds, which is one. Um, one themselves are 1,500. I set it out like that. And to get from one to 1,500, I times. And to get back from 1,500 to one, I divide. So in this case, he buys a train ticket for 30,001. So I want to get back to pounds, so I'm dividing by uh, 1,500. So 30,000 divided by 1,500. If I divided them both by 100, I would get rid of uh, two zeros from each. Now I'm doing 30 divided by 15. Well, 15, 300 divided by 15, sorry. 15s into 30 are 2. 15s in with no remainder, 15s into zero, so that is £20. Okay, question five. Rectangles A, B, and C are similar. Work out the missing lengths. Similarity means that there is a, um, a scale factor involved with all of them. So as I'm going back from here to here, um, to get from 8 to 4 is actually is dividing by 2, but that's the same as times by a half. So I'm going to halve this. So all I've got to do is halve the 12, um, and half of the 12 is 6. Now going back the other way, to get from 4 to 6, um, if I do 6 divided by 4, that is 3, .2, 3 over 2 which is 1.5. So the multiplier this way is 1.5. So if I times 6 by 1.5, um, 1 times 6 is 6, half of 6 is, um, is 3, so that is 9. Write down the scale factor of enlargement from rectangle C to rectangle A. I've already done it. It is divided by 2. But we, you, when we get smaller, we write it as a fraction. So it's times by a half. 